Bibles. The Bible speaks in particular concerning three calls. The first call, you'll find it in Hebrews 3 and 1. It's Greetings. Of a heavenly call. Then you must I'm so understand. late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm and late. Greetings, 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 greetings. Come on in. It's Sunday Night Live. I am late. I am late. I am late. I am late. But come on in here. Trying to get my camera straightened out here. All right, all right, what's going on, everyone? Y'all know who that is. I grew up old school. I, I know I don't look like it, but I'm from the country, y'all. Slap hogs and milk cows. This is their room. <laughs> get on in here, get on in here. I'm not gonna be long. I'm not gonna be long tonight because it's late. It's it's late, y'all. But y'all, this is come on in here. It's Sunday night live with Sir William. <laughs> Come on in. Way nestled away in the rural part of Longview, Texas, there was a little wooden church. We didn't have the Hammond B3. We didn't have a microphone. We didn't have. Henry said, Is that Henry from California? Is that. I'm, try I'm trying to get y'all in here. I need y'all to like, click on like and share. 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 I'm not going to be long. I am so late. I am so late. Um, um, oh, they said, let me hit the, the, you getting your beverage together. I am so late. I, uh, I apologize that I am, um, that I am late. You know, I do this on Sunday night, but we go to church on Sunday night. And so sometimes it says, who is this? Uh, says, uh, Lynn, Linwood Cooper said, hi, my friend. Glad to see you tonight. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, and, and, and Marie, and Marie Barnes. Why do I know that? Know that name. Okay. So I want, I want Tuesday. Everybody say Tuesday. Tuesday is election day. Um, and so I wanted to spend tonight discussing the uh um discussing the uh election. Where is uh okay? I um now I sent Wait a minute, I sent myself the text. I don't understand. Okay. I don't understand. 
understand what's going on. Okay, so I sent the, let me see here. I sent the text because I didn't want to forget anything. And why isn't it, um, why isn't it going through? Okay, so let me, let me see here. Let me try to, greetings, Tabitha Clark. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so am I back? Okay, let me know what's going on. I try, I, I don't know. I tried to, I was trying to do something. Okay, so it's late, y'all. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be long because it's already after, um, it's already, whoo, it's already after midnight. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to tarry long. All right, so I want to I want to uh discuss um so we have an election. Those of you that are Church of God in Christ, we got an election coming up on Tuesday. So I want to know how do you all um how, what is going on? Woo. I tell you, I'm all over the place tonight. I'm for Okay, so tonight I just said that I was going to do a free-for-all discussion. Uh, uh, he said, bad new hat. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen there, Bart. Listen there, Bart. What's going on, Reverend? Uh, later. Okay, so it's uh, I, um. So I want to discuss. I... Okay, agree. Okay, I want to discuss this election. And the election is coming up in um in the uh in the church, okay? And who um Okay, wait a minute. What's going on here? So um I want to discuss this what is going on with my with my internet I want to uh I want to discuss the whole um the whole election okay now let's see let's see if that works Okay. Okay. All right, so I want to um I want to discuss this election. And how Averna, it keeps saying that you're watching like three times. Why well, I wonder why is it coming up saying that you're watching so many times like that? All right, greetings, everyone. Is everyone in? I know I don't see as many that is normally here. You know, this is uh, Sunday Night Live with Sir William. Um, my cash app is uh, dollar sign Sir William G. Um, Sir William G. McCray. Um, Sir William G. Uh, G. Uh, McCray, M C C R A Y I I I. Um, so those of you that can send your um, your contributions and your donations to me, uh, love you, love you, love you, love you. Also got the um, got uh, my uh, a new. I guess we're gonna have to postpone the date for March. Um, far as with my my next uh brunch verna it is saying verna bear this is saying that you are watching about 15 to 20 times i don't know what's going on with your connection or why you're signing off and signing back on so many times but 
it is um I'm counting and your thing has come up that you're watching I don't know how many times. Okay, let me go through here and say hey. All right, uh Henry Gillahunt from Oakland. He knew that that was Ruby. I mean, look at all of these times they're saying that she's on. Okay. Uh, we love you all the way from Dallas, Texas. All right. How is things in Dallas? We understood that y'all had some, some inclement weather. Okay. Henry says, what's the news on the general board? I am getting ready to tell you. All right. Um... Uh, Martin, Martin talking about the new hat. <laughs> Martin is the best. Uh, okay, preach Ruby. Y'all knew that that was uh, y'all knew that that was Ruby. Uh, Ruby Holland. She dropped Hutchins. She gave him back to his mama. She gave Dennis back. Uh, I need the news. Okay, who else is this? Uh, Gerard. Luma said, "My friend, so glad to see me." Um. Uh, thank you, Martin. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, who else is on? Who do you want to be the next bishop? Roman. Roman uh, said who? I, I, Roman, I'm trying to figure it out, man. This is going to be... Um, Okay, so Facebook is having issues. Vicki Davis is on. Okay, Sean says Dallas roads cleared yesterday, but clean up after the burst pipes are underway. All right, uh, love the hat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so everyone, so let's talk about, let's talk about, okay, voting. What, what, now, and I think this is fitting because Henry Louis Gates, just had his special two nights on PBS talking about the black church. And y'all know I, uh, as a former history teacher, y'all know I love history, right? So one of the things that I thought was so incredible that was discovered um, with the, uh, the, one of the things that I thought that was so incredible that was discovered with the whole uh, black church piece was that the black Pentecostal movement, um, although we're not as old as the AME church, our movement started without the influence of a white counterpart. Um, so we did not have like the AME and Baptist and we didn't have a set or we didn't derive from um, an established white organization. We, we established the Pentecostal movement in and of ourselves. So it was, uh, it was, it was totally black and totally black from its inception, which I thought was really, really, um, really phenomenal. Okay, so I want to discuss because we have, um, those of you that are Church of God in Christ, we have our election coming up. I ain't, I'm not really going to talk about too much of anything else tonight except for the election. Okay, so let's go through the list of the men that are running for the general board. Okay, you have um, running for the general board, uh, uh, Bishop Prince Bryant, um, uh, Bishop Malcolm Colby, Bishop Cedric Daniels, Bishop David Hall, Bishop John Wesley Hardy, Bishop Michael Hill, Bishop Daryl Hines Sr., Bishop John Mark Johnson, um, uh, Bishop Jerry Wayne Macklin, Bishop Lauren Mann, uh, Bishop C.H. McClendon, Bishop Brandon Porter, uh, uh, and Drew, Drew Sheard, Liddell Thomas, and Bishop uh, uh, Lawrence Wooten. Okay, they are running to seek, are, are seeking to 
um, be on the general board. We have six open seats. Now, let's talk about uh, the incumbent, uh, the incumbent's bishop, um, Cedric Daniels is an incumbent. Bishop uh, Jerry Wayne Macklin is an incumbent. Bishop Brandon Porter is an incumbent. Bishop John Drew Sheard is an incumbent. Daryl Hines is an incumbent. Um, and Bishop uh, Dr. Lawrence Wooten. They are our six incumbents. Um, no one has said, okay, absolutely. We're going to get into that. Now, this, I'm going to say this. It was so... You know, and you know, David is going through that major lawsuit. David Hall is going through a major lawsuit. So, and he has done little to no. I, I, I'm going to say this off the bat, and y'all not going to like it, but I'm going to say this. We don't need nobody cheat on the general board. If you cheat and, you, you know, uh, for, if you got a storefront church, um, if your local church and your local jurisdiction is struggling, you don't need to be seeking office on the general board. What you should be doing is trying to work your local church. All right. If you are if, if you have a struggling church, if your church is a storefront. All right. And, and, and your church and your jurisdiction is struggling. Work your work out that situation first. Um, so I uh, I'll say this. OK, now, Prince Bryant was Thessalonica's um, um, in 2016. He was the 13th man. I have not seen very much from him. I've reached out to him on several times. I have not heard. Uh, I have not heard back um, anything. I have a poll. There's a uh, so I'm going to probably discuss the numbers that um, that are coming up on uh, on my poll on tomorrow. Um, probably uh, discuss what does the actual you know numbers look like now. In 2016, we was only 20 percent. We were only off by 20%. All right. Um, so, uh, Judah, Judea, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, we was only off by about 20%. Okay. Now, so I, I really want to discuss this whole aspect of what do y'all feel about voting? Now, I was at first. At first, I was very, um, uh, okay, Roma said, is sheared scandal free now? Okay, what do you mean? What do, what do you mean by scandal free and scandal free now? What, what, do, what do you mean by that? Can you please elaborate? Also, oh, let me turn it on. Let me turn it on. Is there anybody that's want to come on? Let's see. Let me see here. Is there anybody? Okay, let's... Let me turn. Okay, now. Okay, so if you if you decent, because I know it's late, so if you decent and you want to come on and you want to have a discussion with me, you certainly can. Now, those are all of the people that are running for general board. Let me go over the names of the people that are running for trustee board. Okay. Um, now, running for trustee, you have uh, Carrie Barnes. You have Darren Burns. You have um, Marlon Bush. You have Joseph Chase. You have um, Lolita Faulkner. You have Caller Galbraith. You have Guy Glimp. You have um, David Hall Jr. You have Dexter uh, Higginpeth. Um, you have Wanell Henson. You have Clint Horn. Um, Charla Johnson. Uh, Timothy Johnson. Sandra Jones, Pastor Edward, Edward Langtham, uh, Sylvia Law, Mildred Lindsay, Georgia Macklin Lowe, Gerald, Jerry McKinnis, Pastor Kale Mann, um, 
you have uh, Christopher Martin, you have Jennifer Rose Patterson Heal, you have Errol Del Der uh, Derek. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said his uh, spiritual title because I haven't called anybody else's. Um, Derek Scott. You have Jonathan Shepard. You have his father, Josephus Shepard, Amos Smith, T. Lynn Smith, uh, Aileen Stingley, Bishop uh, Mark Thomas, Superintendent Milton Timmons, uh, Dwight Walls, Sharon Westbrook, uh, David Whitley, and Pastor Kenneth Williams. Those are all the people that are running for trustee board. We have a seat that is open. Uh, Velda Slack seat is open for the Judiciary Board. And we have Linda Ramsey running, uh, Linnell Perry, and Sheila Stewart. Those are the people... Um, um, those are the people that are running for trustee board. Okay, so now the trustee board actually, according to the constitution of the church, could really be a powerful board and could have a great deal of influence in the church. However, the power that lies within the general board has a lot to do with uh, slack, slack term is ended. There's a term limitation, uh, Martin, on, uh, there's a term limitation on judiciary board. I think it's, I think it's only what, three, three or four terms that you can, uh, that you can run and serve in that capacity. So there's a term limitation, not that she didn't, want to I'm surprised that she didn't try to cross over and do something like say judicial I mean um uh uh trustee board or what have you so um okay so let let's get into it let's dig into this real quick because it's Sunday night we vote on the 23rd which is we um uh we vote on the 23rd which is a uh, Tuesday and, okay, so how do y'all feel? I, now, the only reason why I'm kind of okay with there being an election in the church uh, in the midst of the pandemic is because we still had the world's election within the midst of the pandemic. However, I believe that, this is just me, I believe that we should have come together to vote. How many of y'all, how many of you all out there that are delegates that don't feel, don't trust the ARC system? Okay. All right, Ivy, you can't contribute much to this because we're talking church. Um, but I, I, I don't necessarily, I don't feel comfortable. This is, this is my thing. If we came together and we social distanced and we voted in person for um for a uh for a election um then why couldn't we come together at a, and have a general assembly in Memphis and vote in person. Okay. Now this whole virtual thing, let me, let, 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 let's deal with this whole virtual aspect. The whole virtual aspect is that you're going to have people that may be legitimate delegates that never, we normally on at a general assembly on an election year, we might, we might get 5,000 people. Now that's doing good. That's that's doing good. Now a lot of y'all don't come to the meetings. A lot of you all 
Dude, first of all, I don't know why you upset and in arms about it because a lot of y'all don't y'all y'all pseudo kojic y'all don't really participate with um with uh uh the church on a national basis or on a regular basis anyway. So I what wh wh why you you know feel compelled or you have such a great opinion now, I don't really understand it. But most of you all do not come for the full two week meeting. The meeting starts, the official meeting opens every first Tuesday, the first Tuesday of November is the opening. That is official day. That is our official day and the meeting, the, 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 the presiding bishop opens the convocation the first Tuesday of the of November. Now, then we stay. We stay. According to our constitution, we have to have church first. And then after church, there will be called a meeting of the General Assembly. And the General Assembly will then, then meet. Now, According to the Constitution, according to the Constitution, th we are to meet or to vote in person. There is no, there is no uh, uh, precedence set for us to be in or in the midst of a pandemic and attempting to to vote. We don't have a precedent that says that. Now, I think me over here, I think we could have called a general assembly. We should have had a calling of the general assembly and the people could have um now there's a couple of things that could have happened. They could have called the General Assembly first, first. Now, this is what y'all didn't know. What y'all didn't know is at any time throughout the year, the general board can call a, a meeting of the General Assembly without, with the, not needing per per permission from the chairman can call a meeting of the General Assembly and control the agenda of that meeting. Now, why, according to what I've heard, I'm not totally sure, but according to what I've heard, the uh, we've had deaths and we've had two that are going to resign. So, and there was no meeting there was no um clear demark the, the 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 general board the men that we have left on the general board the six that we have left was said to be divided they were said to be divided and could not come to an agreement on whether or not a general assembly meeting should be called and whether or not they should vote it. Now, some of that six was in favor of a virtual election. Greetings. Some was in favor of a virtual election and some were not in favor of a virtual election, okay? Now, this is part of the problem with the virtual election. The virtual election problem, as I see it over here in, you know, on my soapbox, I do not like the idea that you will have people that have, according to financial, that will have a right to participate and vote in the virtual election that does not participate in with the national church um, on a regular basis. 
if you don't participate in the national church on a regular on a regular basis, then why uh, why would you want or have uh, um, any level of participation in this election? Okay. If if you're not a if you're not a participant, if you don't normally go to the meetings, how many of you that are out here go to the national meetings? If you don't normally go to the national meetings, then it's not really, you know, that serious or that important to you anyway. But if you go to the national meeting, yeah, I I, I think that it should have just I, I think that they should have held the election. And people that normally come, we should have gone to, we should have gone home. We should have gone to Memphis and we should have um, gone to Memphis and did the delegates, we vote in person, period. Okay. So Martin Evan says almost all of them. Okay. You're saying almost all of who? What are you referring to, sir? Trying to see what what are you what are you referring to? Um, so that's that's going to be interesting. Now this is the problem. The problem is that you got a virtual election, and you're gonna have a cat that pay his licensure with our church that does not particularly or does not normally come to national meetings that's going to be sitting at home that's going to be sitting at home that is going to cast a vote about our general board and our presiding bishop and they're not necessarily active now they was saying that you were supposed to you you were supposed to be can um and Martin, you could probably help me with this. You were supposed to to vote. You were supposed to have uh, been active for the last five years so that you could vote this time. Not so sure if um, um, uh, not so sure if that is something. Henry, don't, it doesn't matter because Ivy is, uh, I don't, uh, Ivy is not Kojic. Ivy is, uh, uh, she's a friend, but she won't have any input in this discussion. She's not Church of God in Christ. Um, so, uh, um, so that's, that, you know, we love her or what have you, but what, um, um, Whatever uh, she is saying does not um, uh, uh, does not really matter. Okay, so blocking the trolls are there. I, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm not going to even go into that. You're the the trolls is there. They they're pitiful. They're ridiculous. I, I you know you you supposed to do whatever you was gonna do. You haven't done nothing. You're never gonna run up. Um, I'm at church every week. I'm I'm out. I'm very visible. So if you're gonna do something to me, do it. If if you you say that I live in an extended stay, go to the extended stay. And do something. You're not going to do anything. All you're going to do is sit and send me a text message, which is like for real. Okay, so um, Desen Wilbur says, who is running for the presiding bishop of the church? Okay, there's four men that are running for a presiding bishop. Now, this is this is what you have to do. You have to be reelected to the general board first. If we were... If we were in a national meeting, they would run and they would get back on or attempt to get on the general board and then they could immediately run or then the chairman will call for the vote on the presiding bishop. And then the, the men that want to seek the office of presiding bishop, then they will speak again. 
they would give an additional speech as to why they want to be the leader of our church. Okay, that is not happening. Now, Chairman Thuston, who is um, hmm, been rather interesting with his authority and how he is ruling and leading the General Assembly. He made the determination and put um, um, put forth a resolution that if you were not, because one of the concerns was going to be that if, if and had he not done this, you could have theoretically ran got on the general board and then had never served on the general board and then immediately ran for presiding bishop. So anyway, in the previous meeting, he made the determination that you had to be one of the six that was already on the general board to be able to run for presiding bishop. Now we have four to our understanding that are going or that have offered themselves to seek the office of presiding bishop. And that's Brandon Porter. That is, uh, well, let's go in order. First assistant, um, uh, presiding bishop, Jerry Wayne Macklin. Uh, second assistant presiding bishop would be that of Bishop Cedric Daniels. Then you have uh, uh, Bishop Brandon Porter. And then after that, you have Drew Sheard. Those are the four men that we, are, that we understand that are running or after. Now, and they're, they're operating under the assumption that they're going to run and get reelected to be to serve on the general board, and then once they get reelected to serve on the general board or or, or voted back uh, get their seat back, that they will run to be presiding bishop. So that's that is that is our um, that is our understanding. Okay, and. Um, that's, that's, that's what it's looking like. Now, um, Macklin has not campaigned. And, uh, he is saying that he is going to allow the Lord to pick our presiding bishop. He is not campaigning. Um, Bishop Daniels is campaigning. Okay, is campaigning in a very big way and got money to campaign. Okay, now I got a texting system that's going out first. And now let me say this if you cheat, if you cheat, y'all want me to tell you, okay, I'm gonna tell you the people that's cheat. I'm gonna tell you the, the people that that's cheat. Bishop Man, I love you. I love Barbara. You cheat, Doc. You don't need to necessarily run for general board. If 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 you penny pension and and you got to deal with the fact that Ivanka Trump, our problem is you had Ivanka Trump come and sit up in your church. Now, whether you are secretly or behind the scenes a Republican or not, um, that I, I'm not, I'm just going to go on and ignore these, um, these text messages, just like constantly texting. But anyway, so if you, yeah, I, I mean, okay, everybody has their right to have their, their outlook on politics and the country and how they view the country and what have you. But when you kind of have um, 
the type of president that Trump proved to be and you have an affiliation with him and have them come to your church, even if they were there to feed the hungry, the fact that they were there, uh, I don't know. I don't know that. I, I and then you want to and then you want to lead the national church. So, um, that one, I have not. I have not heard. I have not heard much from um, anybody out there. I have not heard much from uh, uh, Prince Brian. Um, I have not seen anything um, from Malcolm Colby. Uh, he, although he is over the extensions committee for the general board and when a person wants to become a bishop and start a fellowship, he's over that committee. I've seen nothing from him. Okay, let's go, let me go down the list. Let me go down the list so that I can, I can be fair about who's, who's in the race. Okay, let's, 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 let's say, let's say that. Okay, let's say who is who is running for their life. Okay, I have the I've seen very little from um from um from Brian. Uh, although although Brian's wife, I want Bishop. Bri you want Bishop Brian to win? Why? Why do you, tell Bert, Why do you why do you think that Bishop uh, Prince Brian should win? Uh, um, okay, so, um, anyway, so I haven't seen much, although his wife has been named to be the, um, the president, uh, um, has been named to be the president of the Bishop's Wives Circle now um, since uh, uh, Willie May Shear passed. Uh, okay, I've already told you about Kobe. Bishop Cedric Daniels is campaigning and campaigning in a very serious and very, very, very major way. Um... Bishop Daniels, um, uh, I, I, I mean, his name and reputation speaks for itself. So I don't, you know, what, what can we say? Um, you know, uh, he stands head and shoulders above the rest. Go, um, go to Milwaukee, go to Milwaukee. Um, Okay, uh, David Hall. Uh, David Hall. I, I don't. I'd like to see. I'd like to see Hall more. Um, I think he should stay um, with the whole teaching, the whole ecumenical, um, the the institution and structure of. Um, of the bishopric, uh, I, I think he's I think he's excellent for that. Uh, Hardy, um, I've seen a little bit. Now this is the thing that some people got to realize too. Whatever you do on your little Facebook page, that ain't enough. You've got to go beyond your Facebook page. You know what I'm saying? You got to go beyond your Facebook page and. You, it, it, even in the midst of this pandemic, you have got to figure out creative ways to get in front of the voting delegates. And throwing your flyer up on your Facebook page for your 5,000 friends to see is not, let me repeat, is not and has not been enough. And you got two days. You got two days to try to turn it around. Um, so now someone said that um, Daryl Hines would have. I, I, you know what? I really, I really, I, I agree with you. I really would have liked to have seen Bishop Hines run. Um, uh, I would have liked to have seen 
Bishop Hines run for presiding bishop. Um, you know, he went through that uh, tumultuous scandal. It was found out not to be true. Um, glad that he did not leave the church, that he did not resign from general, the general board or any of those things that... Um, and he, I just really admired how he stood his ground and stood in um, in the midst of that. So hat, definitely hats off to you. Uh, hats off to you, Bishop Hines. Uh, like him. And uh, um, he and um, Pamela are doing this, what, moments in marriage or marriage moments or something like that. Um, uh, real, uh, real nice, uh, uh, little cool, um, little, uh, cool thing that, um, uh, that they are, are doing. I, I don't know much, um, about, um, Bishop Johnson. I know that he's from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, do not know much about him on a national level, uh, and have not really, um, you know, seen him visibly as a bishop, but do not, uh, do not know, uh, much, uh, much about him. Um, so that will, that'll be interesting. Um, wow. So, okay. What was the scandal? Um, uh, Karen, what was the scandal with Bishop High? Well, it, it's old and it really doesn't matter now. You know what I'm saying? He survived it and it was proven it was proven not to be um not to be true. So it's not um it's not even you know what I mean? It 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 was a lie and it was, it's not even really worth mentioning. He's a great man, um uh, very very uh nice guy. Um, like him, like his leadership, like his style, his demeanor. Um, definitely want to uh, see him reelected to the general board. Um, I thought he was excellent. He was a son of um, of the late uh, Gilbert Earl Patterson, spiritual son. Um, and so, like him, want to see him do. Uh, do well and glad to see glad to see that he uh, that he continued and persevered um, through it so that's where we are I think it's going to be interesting who are some of you what are what would you in the midst of this pandemic and the midst of moving forward what are some of the things that you all think that a church of God in Christ the presiding bishop of the largest African American Pentecostal denomination in the world. What should that person embody? Who should it be? And and not just somebody that's popular, but somebody that is. Um, it, it, it it's got to be a person that embodies and embraces our traditions and who we are traditionally as a church and as a denomination, but yet that's going to have the intelligence and the foresight and the uh, intuition on where we need to be going in yeah, 2021 and forward. What does the church, what does the church, what, what should the church look like? What, and what kind of things should our church be able to offer members and constituents? You know, what, what are some of the things that make it worth to you to be a member what what uh what makes it worth it to you to say I'm gonna go to a church of God in Christ and not to the Baptist Church down the street, the United Methodist Church or the AME, um, or the AME church that you know my grandmother brought me up in in this denomination and I'm staying over here. 
another point another point of it is is that we have a lot of people in Church of God in Christ that participate on our national meetings but pay tithes and are locally members of non-denominational uh, churches, Baptist churches. We had, uh, I, you know, I know of people, uh, well, he's dead now, but I know of people that, would, you know, were Kojic nationally that were participating on a weekly basis with, with, uh, with Bishop Eddie Long. And so I, I I think that our church more so than you know what makes it where some of us love it. We love our church and we participate and we actively participate and we're actively a part. What what is it for for us versus that person that mm, it doesn't matter much. Okay, so Jerry says the mission of love evangelism and reaching the young to prepare them for legacy. Like that, like that. A uh, mission of love evangelism and reaching young to prepare them for, for legacy. As you're preparing young people, though, um, you, you know, what, what are some of the things as society... And this is one of the difficult points of the church and that I have not, um, that I have, well, if you miss something, you got to catch the replay. You're leaving. I don't have anything to do with that. So if you left and missed something, oh, well. Um, you know, what does, what does, uh, as, as people progress, and as the world progresses and gets more inclusive of things that are not in aligned um, with all of our spiritual beliefs, um, what what does your what what would what does our leader need to look like to be able to balance? This whole new age stuff, yet our our traditions and our values and the things that make us uniquely us. Now, a lot of people have said, a lot of people have said that do do y'all feel that Bishop Blake watered our sound down? A lot of people say that our our sound was was no longer pentecostal um our sound and our services in, in in the 14 years that he that he was our leader you know judy didn't have a serious pentecostal you know, Kojic sound. You know, it's something about the sound, the banging of the tambourine, the organ, the 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 energy of our of our service. And a lot of us felt like that was watered down. It was it was more um um more, uh, you know, praise and worship be more, oh, lift your hands, hallelujah, where, you know, the, where we, we have, have you tried Jesus? He's all right. How you try? You know, I mean, we have that, 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 mm, and we didn't have that, you know, um, I, I, you know, I, now I, 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 I love that. When you saw um, Bishop Patterson's broadcast, you would hear him give the mission statement. You would see a full or symphony orchestra at Temple of Deliverance on Sunday morning. But when it was time for you to dance and shout, you da you danced and shout. You know, um, Audrey is Kojic, but. When did opera, when did opera become a part of our heritage? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it was, it was so, 
it was so not who we are. So I think that we should have a a presiding bishop that's going to bring balance. Yes, expose us to culture and expose us to arts and expose us to um, intelligentsia, but also keep that grandma grits and gravy that make us uniquely who we are and that that is being imitated and duplicated by the non-denominational church down the street um, that that wants to have that same level of sound that we have, but uh, it, it, it may not be necessarily rooted in, in, in prayer and in the anointing and the things that make us who we are. Um, I really want, um, I want to see those of you I want to see Bishop Liddell Thomas. I want to see Bishop Liddell Thomas get on the general board. Um, uh, let me see who else is, um, is running. I really want to see him. I think he will add a very valuable contribution to um to the general board uh michael hill michael hill was our um our youth president for some time he's from he's from michigan uh he might would be a good addition to uh to the uh uh to to the um to the general board i i you know i'm still I'm still on the fence with some of the other cats. It, to be honest, I'm I'm just still, you know, um, I don't know. Some of them on the national level have not necessarily done those kind of things that you know, like really make you that really stand out to you that make you say, "Hey, you know that that this guy." Um, would be a good or a value add. Okay, let's um, um, Sandra Jones want to see her get back on the uh, trustee board. Mother Mildred Lindsay want to see her get back. I think Mark Thomas would be a good addition to um to the uh, trustee board. Uh, let's see here. Um. Yeah, Mother Sandra Jones, uh, Mother Georgia Macklin Lowe want to see her get back on. Um, let's see here. Who is um, uh, T. Lynn Smith want to definitely see her get back on. That's Atlanta Love. Dr. Eileen uh, Stingley want to see her get back on. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Dwight Walls, I you know he's been the chairman. Um, I don't know. I I you know kind of on the fence about um, uh, about uh, Dwight. Not not really, just not really sure. I think that uh, I think that Pastor David Whitley. I think David Whitley, Mother Lavonia Whitley's son. I think he would be a great addition to um to the trustee board um i you know i don't know much about milton timmons i know that he has um i know that he has a funeral home he's the sister of uh I, I, or the brother of um joyce rogers um just you know not um not so sure I think that uh, maybe he could uh, definitely come off. Um, Darren, Darren is a good brother out of uh, Detroit, Michigan. Really good guy. 
really um uh really uh really loves the lord um doing at at at, at his level doing a um uh, um um a good work okay dr saeed sul says dr henny i'm not i'm not sure who that is I'm not sure who who that who are you who are you referring to? All right. So, um that's pretty much that's pretty much my slate of what I think I you know, I I don't know. Now, let me say this. The the um the board of bishops, they had their election on on the 18th and everyone every incumbent won uh, oh you you're talking about dr uh, oliver haney he has dementia he's out of his mind and in a rest home now he doesn't he doesn't know his name or social security number anymore he and his wife are in a um in a rest home. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, you talk about the, uh, uh, Dr. Oliver Haney. Yeah. He's, um, no, he's, uh, he's in a rest home. Totally, like, what, what, nuts. You know, like, the de, um, dementia or, you know, whatever you call it. Uh, um <laughs> why y'all why y'all y'all say speak the truth boldly um uh, uh why y'all laugh i mean what what's what was wrong with what i said i mean, I mean did i did i say something wrong I, I what was i supposed to say i don't i don't i don't get I don't get what I said. Okay, uh, Ty said because the way you said it. How did I say it? I just said that he's nuts. He is. He's. I mean, if if okay, so if what does dementia mean? Dementia and Alzheimer's. That means you are you are crazy. You, you are no longer of sound. Okay, when you what do they say when you when you ride a wheel? They said I so and so so and so of sound mind <laughs> and sound mind and body. The Bible says that what that the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but what a love and a power and a sound mind. So when, you, when your mind is not sound, you crazy. I I I, I don't know no other way to to to, to describe it. I, yeah, yeah. I what am I supposed to say? Okay. So anyway, yeah. So he's he's a non-factor. He doesn't have his jurisdiction anymore. Um, and so I, you know, I mean, I you know, I guess y'all feel that I'm saying it harshly or whatever. So um, don't mean to be harsh. Is you know, it is what it is. Um, all right, y'all. So that's who is running. So um, I'm going to probably, I'm going to do a couple more lives about this and see, I I don't know. I, I Now, I'm wondering, will someone file an injunction to halt the election? I got a ton of complaints about um, Chairman Thuston. And so... I was just like, whoa, why we cause I was so I'm I'm trying to figure out um <laughs> Martin Evans says, Who do you want to uh win? You know what, Martin? Or Martin, are you decent? You 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 want to uh let me see if I can bring Martin on. Let me see if Martin Oh, I can't add Martin. Martin, you don't have the ad uh the ad thing on here. 
I was trying to see who's on here that uh, that I can add on. He says, "Who do I? Who do I want to see? Be okay. Have you seen the documentary about the black church? It is really good. It is really good. Yes, um, TJ, I have seen it. It was excellent." Um, I thought that we were, uh, I thought we were well represented, um, thought that, uh, learned a great deal, learned that how our church, Church of God in Christ was started and was it, it, it from its inception and its totality black, um, and did not was you know not a black a black version you know African and Methodist Episcopal was the black you know Richard Allen and they branched off and broke off it you know our situation is not like that okay Jared says they're going to pull up an insurrection in the church and say it ain't so I'm you know what I wonder about that I wonder will there be what bishop will file an injunction um, to halt or to come against the the election? Or can this like virtual thing be like a temporary election until you know we come together and actually um and actually meet in person, you know, like, like, mm, mm, mm. I just, you know, I, I think it'll be interesting. Um, the media Livingston, you should definitely, it's on PBS. You can, um, I think you can stream it or whatever. Um, and you should be able to, uh, you should, Patrick Wooten shouldn't run for nothing. Patrick Wooten shouldn't, uh, you're absolutely incorrect. Patrick Wooten is out of touch, out of date. Um, he's antiquated. He's a bully. Uh, the, the, the disparaging and the horrible Remarks that he makes from the pulpit is absolutely horrific and atrocious, and he is not far behind that of um, of the uh, blatant ignorance of an Earl Carter. He is a horrible, horrible man. He's a hypocrite. Um, his um, his son is a known homosexual. He hates and speaks very, very ugly things about people that perhaps have that particular lifestyle. Um, he talked about me like a dog over the pulpit in a national meeting that was absolutely horrific. And I still have the text messages of his homosexual son-in-law that is an African that was mad and told him all of these negative things after attempting to sleep or, or approach me in an inappropriate manner in Charlotte, North Carolina. He should not run for nothing. And he should, I very seriously even doubt, uh, should be that of a pastor. We want to know, I'm glad that you mentioned his name. We want to know what happened to the $250,000, the quarter, almost a quarter of a million uh, dollars of federal aid and federal money that his church and I believe his wife, um, uh, uh, received for her school that went missing. And then all of a sudden, after your son had come back home, after he had been living in Atlanta um, with full-blown AIDS, and you said that he said that he had Lyme disease and he did not have Lyme disease. And uh, I, it was myself and Malcolm Cox and others when he was on 
um, on Ashby Street and Northside Drive and Cypress Street in downtown Atlanta selling his body for a Happy Meal at McDonald's. So, no, he should not run for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, should I add more? And we has anybody seen? Has anybody seen? Uh, uh, has anybody seen Patrick Wooten Jr.? Has anybody seen him? Or did he take the fall for and, and possibly is he possibly incarcerated? I just have not. If you if you go, maybe he's on Facebook, but if you go to Facebook or if you go to um, to uh, to social media, you don't see him. And so I was just wondering, where is he? Mm -mm. No. He talked awful about Kamala. He supported Trump and supported and and, and you know I, I I understand evangelicals. I understand people that, but you when we're voting in a worldwide election, you have got to think about the masses. You cannot just think about the narrow scope of the people that are sitting in your pew and your particular spiritual belief. You've got to think beyond. The president of the United States of America has got to be beyond you just being Christian. It's people that are in the in this country that were born Muslim. And you most likely would be Muslim or the reason that you have the particular religion that you have is because Nine times out of ten, because your mother and your grandmother was of that particular belief and they introduced it to you. What if you had been, would you be a Christian right now if you had been born into a Muslim home? Would you be a Christian right now if you had been born into a Jewish household? Perhaps not. So you have to think beyond that. Now, if you get to the to to the the um, the glitz or or, or 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 the gist of your own particular you know religion or denomination, then yes, you can you can get that specific. But on the on the gen, the, the general sense, no, I think he would oppress a lot of people. I think a lot of the progression that is positive that the church has made, I think that a lot of that would be held up. And I just don't think that he would represent uh, or represent the the national church in, in a way that... Um, that should be represented. Um, I think that our church needs to offer more to elders. If you say if, if, if you saying that you want us and that we have to pay a licensure fee for us to serve our uh, our ecumenical and God given clarion call that is on our life then it should be more it, it, some level of health coverage um some level of 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 you know maybe network or you know something that should be offered to the 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 local elder and the 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 local pastor uh it says did we choose our faith or was it passed down? Yeah, I think that's a legit, a legit question. Would you believe what you believe if you were not born into the household that you were born into? Would that be your belief? I'm, you know, come on. Would you be Christian? Melissa Clark says retirement. 
who 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 should be retired? What are you referring to? So y'all, anyway, that's all that I have for tonight. I uh, I came on extremely late, so didn't want to, don't want to belabor um, belabor the night. Wanted to touch on that probably um, for the elderly. Oh, retirement for the elderly. Yeah, you. I mean, you got people like you. You have people like um, like Rita Womack that has been an evangelist all of her life just you know has suffered four strokes we don't we 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 don't we don't have a retirement housing we 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 don't have any kind of you know thing or system set in place for our seniors our people they got to you know they just got to preach 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 until they you know until their bodies give out you know, um, just like I was just talking about uh, Dean Oliver Haney. He's he's you know, we we he shouldn't be nuts and and um in a in a in a rest home. He should be able to be in such and such C H Mason uh a retirement facility or retirement um um village. We should have uh we should have a a a um a a credit union. We should have a national credit union, Church of God and Christ National Credit Union. We should have a credit card. We should have uh we should have uh insurance. We should have our own car insurance. We should have our own health insurance. We should have a credit union where uh, your your house or your condo is 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 financed and and you making payments to uh to the to the church and the church is able to subsi subsidize and you know help you get repair your credit and you know uh purchase a car and different things of of, of that sort that we pay enough i mean we we dress and we fly and we pack out our our meetings in these these national assemblies but you know we have very little things we don't have a hospital we don't we don't have health care we don't have a college or university um saints academy is closed we have absolutely nothing and we should have, and we should have more, but we the grand old church. Well, what's grand about us? We got a building that our, that our leader built during the Great Depression in Memphis, and that's it. That's it. We should have a credit union. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. We should have a business network, just like just like I'm a member of the Urban League and the NAACP. We should have a business network and directory of everybody nationally across the country and internationally that is Church of God in Christ, uh, a Thai paying member that is in business and we should have our own directory that 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 we produce and that we publish and we should support if you build in a house you should look and say you know what am i gonna go with that black contractor well you know what uh, mccray's contracting is not only are they black owned but they're black owned and they are members of our denomination. They have the same faith that we have. I'm not going to have to. I, hopefully, I won't have to sue my brother. You know, I hopefully I can get this. If you are a refrigerator repairman, a AC man, handyman, all of those kind of things we should have within our thing. I, You know, I should be... I should be um the the editor in chief of the whole truth right? on the on the publishing board. We have a publishing company, right? And our publishing company produces majority of the Sunday school material that is used 
throughout denominations um, throughout the country. A good number of our black denominations use our our um, our uh, Sunday school material. But that's just one example of one of the enterprising resources that we could have and should have as a church. If just if you think everybody that's heard that's Church of God in Christ get on National Laity Day, National Laity Day, everybody that is a lay member or a member of the church is asked to give twenty twenty dollars to the National Laity Day. If you said we're going to take ten percent. Of that, if now if that's if every member does it, and then we say the general board and the presiding bishop said we're going to take ten, we're going to take two dollars out of that twenty dollars for every person, and we are going to establish the Church of God in Christ Credit Union. I should be able to go to my in my car in my in, in my wallet and pull out a Visa or Mastercard that says C O G I C. That said that that's that says that and then and then just like when 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 you go to the store and they say, Oh, do you want to round up? Do you want to round up uh instead of instead of your bill coming to eight dollars and fifty three cent? Do you want to round your bill up to say eight dollars and fifty five cent and three cent go to Kojic charities so that we're consistently and constantly raising money for our charitable you know uh uh things that we need to do and when when disasters happen and we got to go and see about our people. So these are all kind of things that should be in place. We don't have uh, uh, we don't have a hospital. We don't have we don't have uh, uh, doctors. You know, it, it it should be buildings all over Memphis, all over the tri-state area. That we we started in a cotton gin in Lexington, Mississippi, it, in Mississippi, in Memphis, uh, Tennessee, and um, whatever what is it Alabama, whatever the whatever that other you know tri-state you, you know what they call the tri-state area, those it should be buildings all over the place that 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 are Kojic. That, that you know we didn't we didn't we wasn't able to save the Chiska. We go to we went to Memphis every year for years and years and years, and we don't have our own hotel. We don't have our own transportation service. We don't have you know we have our courtesy drivers, but I mean it's so many things that we could do that would be enterprising and that would bring and generate revenue and generate jobs. We have a lot. It's a lot. You probably know five people that are part of our church that's unemployed right now that have gone and needed help from our church. And there's enterprising things that we could do that would generate income and generate revenue and that would employ people. I'm just saying. So while you running, been running for Jesus a long time. I'm not tired yet, but you I mean, it's more we got to have some reality and some stuff right here, right now, before before you know we go on the glory. But anyway, that's you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, while we while you arguing about who go to bed with who, you know, while we paying while we paying lawsuits for dead people, so and so raped me 40, 50 years ago. The man is dead. The folks that he raped is dead. Everybody dead. 
Did I lose y'all? Are we there? And we paying, you know, we should, we, we, we could be doing some other revenue generating things that 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 would that would be really beneficial and important to us as an organization and and as a as a people that's all i'm saying all right y'all maybe that's a sign that is i'm talking too much and you know i mean it's just it's you know more more should be to us then so and so rolled up in a Rolls Royce. So and so rolled up in a Bentley. You know, so and so rolled up in and and I mean and just I I I and I know, you know, we are blessed people and and I love to see us come together. I love to see I love our national meetings. I love to see black church of God and Christ people and our bishops walk in and slam their credit cards down and demand, and I want a room, I need a corner room, and I want my room next door to the elevator. And blah, blah. I, you know, I love that. I love to see our rich history and heritage and, you know, our people and our and our, our 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 supervisors and you know I love to I I I take pride in it, just like I take pride in Morehouse and you know but but at the same time we should be offering something to our people, we should be generating you know something that is giving back and revenue generating and that is going to live on beyond you know, beyond right now. And why we haven't had a presiding bishop to say, hey, let's do this. You know, let's, 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 let's do this. We don't even have a homeless shelter. Do we have a, do we have a Church of God of Christ homeless shelter? I'll wait. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, but we are great church. And so anyway, y'all, so I guess I've said enough. Um, whoa, presiding bishop, who should get it? Who should get the, who should get the presiding bishop and what six men should go on the general boat? And who should be the 15 on the trustee board? Interesting. Kojic election. Twin, uh, 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 the 23rd. Coming up with Tuesday. So, a lot to talk about. Vicky, your thing now is saying that you watching. It's saying that it, it keeps saying that you're watching like 150 times. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But anyway... So y'all send y'all cash apps if y'all love me, if y'all like me, and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, so Antoine says, uh, uh, Bishop Cedric Daniels for presiding bishop. All right. Okay. Do you think that the church would be ready for a presiding bishop without a, with, without a first lady? And without... Um, and, and with the church as we know it, be ready for a single man to be our leader. Do you think we can handle that? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Should all six return to the general board? Excellent question. Um... Excellent question. Now, some talk has been that Bishop Dr. Lawrence Wooten is older. And 
there has been some talk that he should not because of his age and because of his health. Um, and that was the contingency about Bishop Blake because a resolution had been put on the floor that we would only allow a presiding bishop to serve up until 80. And Bishop Blake is now 80. Um, Dr. Wooten seems to be uh, sharp mentally. Um, he has some physical challenges because he's older, but he seems to, I'll say, I'm going to answer your question like this. When you're building an organization or a company, you always want the three W's. Thank you, Kelly. I love you and appreciate you. You always want the three W's. You want wealth, workers, and wisdom. You need, when you're establishing a church, when you're establishing a company, when you're establishing a nonprofit, you need wealth. You need people to give money to help finance your vision and finance the work that you, uh, uh, you, that you want to do. Then you have to have the workers. You have to have those handy people that are going to work out your vision. They're going to help you build it. They're not going to be wealthy. They're not going to have a lot of money. They're going to have time and they're going to have the ability to help you do the day-to-day -day work do and get your operation off of the ground. You need those. And then you need wisdom. You need those that have been here before that have wisdom, that have insight, that have connections, that have relationships, and can say, William, you don't want to go this route. This way over here is going to be easier. This way over here is going to prove to be, you know, financially valuable in the long run. This is going to save you a lot of heartache and pain. So you need that. And we need a father, um, I would say, an older gentleman, a person that maybe he shouldn't be an active member of the presiding board, uh, 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 of the general board, but maybe an ad hoc or something where he's on there and can give us back to the the roots of our founder and and what was that old church rooted and grounded in you know so i don't know should all six or should there be a term limit should there be term limits should did you know does everybody doesn't make it back on the general board a lot of you, I mean, you you know, Bishop Jacob Coyne didn't make it back on. Bishop Willie Lee Porter didn't make it back on. Um, you have a lot of bishops that don't, you know, um, that don't make it back on. Uh, Earl James Wright, uh, not, not uh, 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 Earl Wright out of uh, Detroit, Michigan, before he died, he didn't make it back on. Uh... Uh, that you know, so you have different people that 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 in in the past, you know, maybe have not made it back on to, um, to the um, uh, to the general board. So you know, and and sh should you say eight years is you know uh, is all of it? I mean, you got some people that's been on the trustee board thirty years. 
you know, you got, I think Milch has been on the trustee board, you know, and, and I, I mean, although I cannot imagine a trustee board without Mildred on there, but, you know, she's been on there for, what, 30 years, you know. Um, so, I, I mean, should it be a term limit? But also, if you have a term limit and you still have people that have the talent and the skill, you know, to offer. Um, this is an interesting period because we got six seats. So I would agree with my brother Martin that they'll probably get to there. There'll probably be some men that'll fill those six seats that'll only be on there for um for one term. And that once this pandemic is over and we make it that they probably will not come back. I agree with you on that. I really I do. I do. I think because they're vacancies, you know, it's going to be some people that's going to get on. And then I don't think some of those is going to come back. All right, y'all. I'm getting sleepy. It's ready to uh, time to uh, turn to a turn to a pumpkin, get some sleep, get the uh, start the 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 week off. Um, uh, good old Monday is rolling around. And um, so we we're talking about it. I probably I uh, do y'all want me to do a live tomorrow and definitely uh, on election day, um, and to probably do another uh, another live. Would have liked to maybe have talked to some of those people running, but I'm sure that you know little old me is not big time enough to um, to have uh, to um, have um done such a thing yes please 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 deacon jared gerard um says uh elder myron peters the spirit entitlement is going to be okay elder myron peters says the spirit of entitlement is going to be the death of kojic what does that mean Our church ain't died in a hundred years. I doubt that we're gonna die. We went through we went through uh what is it? Um pandemics, the Great Depression. I I think that I think that we're gonna still um we're still gonna thrive and sur and survive. I'm not sure what you mean by the spirit of entitlement. I do. I feel that because I am saved. That I have some rights, that I'm entitled to some things because I'm not, because I believe that without the shedding of His blood, there would be no perpetuation for sin, and because I am a part of that royal priesthood, a nation set upon a hill, a, a peculiar people, because I'm a part of that, that I do have some entitlements that I have some rights because I am of his, I, I am one of his children. And I, I believe that. I believe wholeheartedly. I believe that. I believe that in the foundation of who, of who I am, that because of this, that there's some entitlements and there's some things that I, that I should have and that I have, should have some rights to. I thank you, my brother. Everyone, I want you to please, please support me. Please give um, um, to please help me. People think should be elected because their father. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know necessarily who's elected that think that they should be elected because their father was elected. I, I'm not sure who we who we have that in that case um, and that they have I think that you have people that think that they are great men and they they have a contribution now I, I I would say I would say that affects us sir elder Peters I would say that I think that that affects us more locally 
And I think that affects us jurisdictionally because a lot of people will say, because my father was a pastor, that I should be the pastor of the church in his in the event of his death. And I don't believe that. I don't believe wives should automatically be pastors um, when their husband die. And I don't believe that sons or daughters should take on the ministry just because they're family. Now, I do believe, I do believe that some level of financial contribution if that organization and that church is financially solvent, I think that they should do something that contributes to the family of the uh, of of the deceased that was the founder. You know, it may not be a whole lot of money. It may just be, say, like a five hundred dollar stipend a month or something like that. But I do think that your church should do something toward the family and toward the widow of a man that is certainly, you know, labored and established a minister. But I, I think that what you're saying is very, very valid and happens. But that happens in the world too. A lot of times because if your father was very, very popular and your father was an elected official and you have name recognition and then you run because because of that. So that, you know, that's 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 somewhat and you know, that's history. You know, royals did it, you know, Africans did it. We we, we have that um that's something about legacy. Um, I don't know. Bishop Mason, the church as we know it today is not the church that Bishop Charles Harrison Mason um, founded and established. The church that we are is the church that was organized by James Oglethorpe uh, uh, Patterson Sr., that he organized our church. Ha! Royal said he hit some people up and they left you a read. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Nonetheless, I appreciate it. So, but no, it's not the... Hey, Jan! Jan Cantrell. I think that was Jan Cantrell. Hey! Oh, they say, tell us about the hat. It's just a red and black hat. Y'all, anyway, y'all, um, thank y'all for your uh, love offering, your support. We'll, I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to do one tomorrow. We're going to keep on talking about the election. All right, y'all. All right, I appreciate everybody. Click, like, share, and all that good stuff. Let me see how... Was my um? I came on late. I always, you know what? I can come on here. I could probably come on at three o'clock in the morning and still get a good crowd. I appreciate y'all. All right, y'all. Anyway, love you. Appreciate you. I'm out of here. Click like and share, and don't forget to send your love offerings. Um, I appreciate y'all. Love you too, Ivy. Sorry that the discussion was, you know, not broad. But we'll we'll get on the hot topics on the uh, next time.